Good afternoon. It's 12.43. I have yet to go home. My husband picked me up this morning and we wanted to just go for a drive. So we went through the car wash first and it doesn't look like it because of the angle, but the car is tinted. She's at 15% uh, window tints. Um, which made no sense to get a car wash because we tried to drive to California and end up having to turn around because we don't have chains on our car. So now we're in a hunt for chains for the tires. Um, we did stop by Starbucks though before we started heading towards California. And um, Sacramento is like 150 miles from us here in Reno. A couple hours ride. Like about an hour and a half to two hours. Three at most depending on traffic. So we were gonna go over there but we turned around because of not having chains on. So we're now we're in the hunt for chains and Walmart seems to be the cheapest. You just gotta know what size tire that you're gonna need. So our tires are 16s when I thought they were uh, 17s. So it goes from $25 and up depending. We're going to our third Walmart right now. I'm trying to find these damn chains because you go on walmart.com, it says it's in stock. You get to the store and ain't shit there. But we went to Starbucks this morning. I had my usual, my venti Americano with cream, uh, three pumps of sugar-free vanilla and four Splenda in the raw. I had the egg bite, the egg bites, which I ended up sharing a couple of bites of that with Junior. My husband got his caramel ribbon frappuccino and their um, breakfast burrito that they have. He ended up having that. And <laughs> we're now getting hungry and that was like, so he picked me up at 8 o'clock. So it, it's been a few hours since we had that. So we're now starting to get hungry. So we might stop by somewhere and grab something to eat. But, um, yeah. The hunt is tripping. We did go to the one Walmart that we did go by. And I ended up... <laughs> I wanted a, a Nutri Bullet or a Ninja Bullet, but they didn't have any in stock, so I went ahead and I got um, the beautiful uh, from Drew Barrymore blender. Um, it's white, so it ma it's going to match the um, the air fryer that I have. I bought one of those. I bought a baby gate because you want to block off the living room area for Junior to walk around and play in instead of walking all over. Uh, not when he starts to walk uh, from walking all over the house because our dog she um she also she's a pretty girl y'all know she's my senior and so she just drops it like it's hot wherever she has to go she has to go and i don't want the baby to be walking around that so i'm a block off a section for him just to crawl around and you know that's away from where she usually um likes to use the bathroom at also um we went through the clearance section, got some things. My husband got some candies or whatever that they had there. And uh, let's see here. All I know is I ended up, oh, this dress here was on clearance for $11. When I scanned the ticket, it came out to $5. So now is the time that I'm advising you all to take y'all behind us to Walmart and rack up on clothes. I didn't want to spend too much because I still have to go shopping. Remember, I told if I haven't told you guys already, my job is giving me $150 to go shopping for clothes for work. So I don't want to spend too much of my own money on clothes because we're gonna we're gonna find a whole bunch of stuff when it, when the time comes to go shopping for work clothes. So this dress I can wear out at the house or at work because it's long sleeve it's like it's almost like a sweater dress but thinner material and the size isn't what i want but it's okay because i have two dresses sweater dresses in storage that are smaller which is the size that i'm trying to get down to so all i had to eat today was an egg bite and a quarter because like i mentioned junior was sharing it with me i already had my coffee and now i'm working on my first bottle of water of the day i ended up having to buy a car chart another car charger for my iphone because this wasn't charging my phone and i didn't want to use my husband's because his is a wireless chart is a wireless charger you just place it on the dock that way he can have to you know to charge his phone as well his phone cord for whatever reason doesn't want to work in the charger so it is what it is but I was trying to figure out something and I might need you guys help for this. I want to upgrade my iPhone. 
okay? I wanna do the i14 upgrade. But what I don't know is if I should go with the i14 regular, the i14 plus, or the i14 max pro, okay? I'm eligible for an upgrade for either model. And my husband also wants to update his phone to the Samsung S23 Plus because he has the, the Ultra or the Plus yeah, Ultra. The ultra, the ultra, ultra is that one. Yeah. And um, it's just for me, I don't know which iPhone version to go to. Um, it'll be with upgrade taxes and fees and everything. It's only a hundred dollars, but which version? Which version do I go for? That is the question. Do I wait another week? And, you know, hopefully you guys can let me know. Or do I just go for the Plus or the um, the Max Pro or whatever it is and, you know, go with that? I don't know. So it's only an additional $25 a month, you know, and I'm going to return this phone and get that one. But I do know that the Plus has three camera faces on the back but the the um the max pro doesn't so i'm looking at the camera quality i, I don't know i have to do some research on it but i do know i want to upgrade because i do have an iphone 11 don't judge me but yeah so let me know what you guys think and i'll come back to you a little later once we decide what we're going to have to eat because we are getting a little you know Okay, we went to Sprouts. They didn't have any Redmonds, even though that the website said that they would be sold at uh, Sprouts. But we came to Smith's. Smith is um, the West Coast version of King Supers that's in Colorado, AKA Kroger, okay? Y'all, don't get triggered, okay? My husband found this big ass, y'all, it's an apple fritter. <laughs> look at the size of the damn container, y'all. Just, just look at this damn thing, okay? <clears throat> 99 cents, okay? They had a glazed donut, then they had a chocolate frosted donut, but that's not why I went to Smith's. You guys know, come March 1st, I'm gonna be doing strictly beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. And the only seasonings that I'm going to be using is salt. So I don't, I have pink Himalayan sea salt at home in the grinder and also whole, uh, whole salt. But I have bought another thing of Redmond's. And if I run through this, which I know is not going to take me a whole entire month, but I do love the taste difference of Redmond's. And I also bought this. This is strawberry fritter. Um, this is, it's a strawberry fritter. Mm -hmm. This and this uh, plus the um, the fritter was how much, babe? You got the receipt? I didn't even spend eleven dollars, so it was, this was like seven dollars, and this was four and change. So if you have a King Supers by you or Kroger or whatever, um, get to there and, and use it. Plus, you can use your coupon savings and things like that. The Redmond's pouch was $7.09. The shaker was $4.09 and the donut was 99 cents. So everything came out to $12.17 for everything. So now um, I think we're gonna go to <laughs> I think we're, we still haven't eaten. It's already $3.25. Um I think what we're gonna do is eat if we don't go to Wingstop. We probably go to Buffalo Wild Wings, which I know that Buffalo Wild Wings, from what I found out from watching Two Crazy Ketos, they fry their wings in beef tallow. So that's probably the option that I'm gonna go for. So let me Google a location for Buffalo Wild Wings and get there because this wind is about to damn near knock my ass over. Bye. Daddy's strapping you in, huh? Yay! That's you! Yeah. That's you! Oh, no. <laughs> 
Alright guys, it's 4.34. We're just now walking out of Buffalo Wild Wings. We just got in the car. Um, I can't take my son anywhere. I swear I can't. Everywhere he goes is like, oh my goodness, he's so cute. Look at all that hair. He's beautiful. So, um, I'm, I'm blessed to have my son, you know. And, uh, you know, I just appreciate him being here, you know, and the lifestyle change that I did, you know, to have him here with us is, is truly a blessing, you know, and I, I do, you know, thank God for him and that he's healthy and he's loved and I'm, I'm a proud mama. So we're getting ready to head home. While we were at Sprouts, I did buy some bacon, so I'm heading home because I want to put that either to cook or have that in the freezer, but being that it's 4.35 and that's the only thing we had to eat since we were at Starbucks this morning, um, <laughs> I might go ahead and cook the sausages that I have there, and I also still have my ribeye. I thought my husband was going to eat it, but he didn't. So I do still have that ribeye in the refrigerator that I can possibly have. If not, I'll probably take it to work tomorrow. Um, I think I might have left my container at the house. No, it's here. I have the container here so I can also put the ribeye in there or the two sausages in there and take that to work with me tomorrow if I don't eat that tonight. But, um, egg bites, chicken wings, and the drink, the cocktail. I mean, that cocktail was delicious. I know the calories are like, Hoo -hoo, but you know what? Um, me and my husband, we went out to lunch and we enjoyed ourselves. And that's all that matters. I think I might have went the wrong way. See these roundabouts and these yeah, type of plazas? Yeah. Always trip me out. Hit, hit, hit that, that left one more time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, these roundabouts, I'm telling oh, you, it's something else. I know where Blaze Pizza is. Yeah, I heard Blaze has keto pizza, but right now I can't have it because I'm getting ready to do this challenge. Um, for the month of for the month of March, I'm doing beef, butter, bacon, and eggs all month long. So it's just you know, no cheese, no other type of keto foods because I'm trying my best. To drop this baby weight to get it up off me my goal for the end of february is to try to be at 255 which is five pounds more than what i was when i had him so <laughs> i'm working on that right now i keep forgetting today is sunday because i'm seeing chick-fil-a I'm like wow <laughs> anyways wednesday is the first we start bb b and e that day and um yeah, it's just gonna be drinking water. I bought two more um, flavors of the Cure Cool. Kirkle, Kirkle, whatever. Kirkle water. Um, I bought bacon at Sprouts. I got the Redmond's Real Salt from um, Smith's. So I have a freezer full of meats still. And um, that's the Nissan Rogue, it looks so small. That's so, the sport. 
right now we're our they put this sign in the wrong dang on spot um so we're finna head home and most likely i'll probably when i get hungry a little later i have the sausages or the ribeye like i like i said so but those cocktails were delicious were delicious we only have one drink a piece i didn't get to taste my husband's um mojito but it's okay it's okay so i haven't seen my girls since yesterday i know they're like mama and then thank goodness i took off my clothes because I, like i said i bought this at walmart if i would have still had my clothes on but the smell of trixie and bam bam would have started smelling me he would have lost his ever loving mind like how dare you mama have another cat on you so let me get home and i will check in with you guys a little later when i um decide to have something else to eat being that it's already almost five o'clock Hey y'all, we made it home. I'm unboxing right now the beautiful blender. That's what it looks like right there. I have the air fryer preheating right now. So I can go ahead and uh, cook this bacon that I had got from Sprouts. It's one point three four pounds sold at three ninety nine a pound and it's three fifty three was the price so I'm about to put this in the air fryer as well let's see here so just put that stuff I mean it heats up so freaking fast I literally just turned on the air fryer at the same time I turned on the camera <laughs> so, so a couple of pieces at a time and this is thick cut bacon so one two three four five six most likely I'll probably eat the bacon instead of the sausage or anything like that so it's air frying at 400 degrees. It's pre-timed for 18 minutes, but it's not going to be in there that long. But let's go ahead and finish unwrapping this. So here is the base. Like I said, I wanted a bullet. But I didn't have any, so here's the base of it. I said the Walmart I went to, and I got tired of going to different Walmarts. We have three different Walmarts looking for fire chains. Found one that actually had them, but it wasn't the one that we needed for my car. right next to that I'm gonna have it next to my Keurig that way I can just make my bulletproof coffee right then and there so the two flavors that I got is a hydrate watermelon and the active orange tangerine so those are the two flavors that I had got it cooks like super freaking fast y'all like for real but let me go ahead and Drain the bacon fat out of this. I forgot to, when I was at Walmart that I could have gotten a bacon drip pan. I just didn't get, didn't think about it until now. The two things that I'm going to be using to cook with is my air fryer and my cast iron pan. That's another reason why 
I'm saving the bacon grease so I can use my cast irons to cook with. But. So let me put these things away and I'll come back to you once the bacon's done. I'm not really hungry, but I just want to get this stuff cooked. So when I do get hungry, I have it already prepared. So the first batch is finished. And this is what it looks like here. So I'll just have it on uh, some paper towels to drain. And I have the other pieces in there um, cooking up now. So that's what I might have for dinner or when I have my next meal, whenever that'll be. So it might be in like an hour or so, but yeah. All right, you guys, um, I just filled up my water bottle. It's still the same island punch that it's been. Um, I'm gonna set up this baby gate for Junior so he can uh, play in the living room area. And I'll come back when I uh, have something else to eat. All right, guys, um, it's 6.40. <laughs> my baby fell asleep in my arms after he had a bottle. And I'm eating, I've had three pieces already of the bacon. And this is piece number four I'm snacking on right now. Um, primarily mostly out of boredom, but it's protein and fat, so it should fill me up. I'm going to finally start sipping on my water and yeah, so. I was thinking about doing some DoorDash, but I don't know. But I do know I have to go put gas in the car. I love it when he falls asleep in my arm. Look at that handsome baby. God knew what he was doing when he blessed me with him. I swear. All right, y'all. Um. I'll probably end the vlog here if I eat anything else it's just gonna be bacon but <sighs> yeah so I don't know if we're gonna weigh in tomorrow or just wait till Wednesday which will be the first but I hadn't weighed in today because I wasn't home to do so and I had already eaten but yeah I'll check in with you guys tomorrow and continue on until March 1st, where we fully officially slide into beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Peace. Good night, night, Junior. Good night, night.